Hey guys, Patrick in here. I want to show you the best CO2 pistols you can get as of the recording of this video. It's in 2022 in April. <laughs> and these are my favorite CO2s from $35 and under. I mean, you got a decent amount of choice, but I want to show you the best ones you can get so you don't waste your money on some junk. This one here is probably my favorite. It's a Powerline 426. It's pretty neat how it has this internal magazine on the top. You know, you just pull this tab back up here, it slides and it locks. Let me see, I think I slide it over, don't I? Yeah. Then you drop your BBs in there. See if the light's picking that up. Drop your BBs and when you get done, you rack that forward and I think it holds, let's say 16 to 18 shots. I know it's 430 feet per second what the sight says it shoots. I don't have a chronograph, so I don't know, but it really pops stuff really hard. I'll put links in the description of the reviews I've done on all these. But I think this one's probably still my favorite of the $35 and under. It's just, it fits my hand real well. I got small hands. It just, you know, it's real comfortable. Another thing that's a little different is how the CO2 goes on on this one. You just pull that off. And of course, you know, you do that, undo that, put your CO2 in, tighten it up, and just slide this back on. Really, really nice pistol. I also like it's made in Japan. A lot of Japan made stuff is real high quality, I found. Like, you know, I'm a guitar player. I've said it in the previous video when I reviewed this. A lot of the Japanese made stuff's real high quality, and I feel like this carries over. Really, just really well made. It don't feel too light. It don't feel too heavy. It's just right. And uh, the trigger pull is real nice on it. It's not a real super heavy trigger pull. And I think it's just a nice looking overall pistol. I had to mark the front. That's the only thing I kind of dislike, is it doesn't have you know, a dot, I had to make a dot in the front. But uh, besides that, it's a really, really well-made CO2 pistol. I'll show you my next one that I really like. It's from Moomerex. It's XBG. This is a pretty cool one. This one's $29. That uh, power line I showed you was 32 bucks. So this is a little bit cheaper. This one does have a dot in the front, which is really nice. I like I like them when they have the dots. It drives me crazy when you get these and there's not dots or anything. It doesn't have any back dots on, on your back side, but it's nice just having that front dot. This one I think shoots, I want to say 410, per, yeah, 410 feet per second. I think what the site says it's rated at. But you know, that's sometimes they shoot their numbers up just to make it sound cooler and you test them out and they're a little bit lower. But this one, it's got a good hefty shot to it too. What's really cool about the XBG, there's a few of these other pistols too. You can buy this aftermarket thing from Humorex, and your uh, your pistol slides into this and makes it into a carbine. Let me show you real quick. Uh, let's see here. Push this down. Slide your pistol in. You know this flap here. Get it. It's all in there. You know, the way you take this out is there's these little, these little pins. I'd have to put the other pin back in this, but uh, you can't see the pin, of course, because I got the <laughs> stock. I'm goofy. But yeah, the second pin closes up on this, and uh, it keeps it locked in real well. But it's, it's such a cool pistol. It's really cool. I ended up putting a pistol scope on top of it, and uh, you know, you can take this on and off. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. There's all sorts of Picatinny rails on this. Really cool setup. But you know, I just, I like it for just a pistol. You buy the pistol by itself, it's 29 bucks. I can't remember what the the carbine stock costs by itself. I feel like it's like $29. Don't quote me on that. You have to, you have to check. I think it's called TCP. The TCP uh, carbine stock. I think it's what they got it listed at. Like I said, the pistol scope doesn't come with it. That's something we put on there. But everything else does, you know. Foregrip. We've repainted this. This comes black, but we painted it. It's like OD and green because we get tired of all the friggin' black pistols, black rifles. It just gets boring. Oh, we put, yeah, we put a laser light on this too. I forgot. <laughs> but that's a really cool setup. I really dig it. Now here's something that's a little bit different. It's not a CO2 pistol. The spring, you know, the springer. You gotta pull back a little hard on it, but top metal slide, which is really nice. The other ones I'll show you were all polymer. So this one's gonna top metal slide, which is really cool. It's pretty much like a Glock. 
That was a Glock 17. That's the is it the 45 caliber is a Glock 17. If I'm remembering right. You know, this one don't weigh too much. It's a little top heavy because the metal slide. It has also, also has a, a metal magazine, which is nice too. I thought it's like 18 rounds. I think that's what it is. The other ones are just these. Uh, let me see. The power line's got the one on the top, but uh. The SBG has got one of those little metal stick mags. I like the full size magazines. That's just my preference. I just, you know, it just looks cooler as a full size magazine to me. But yeah, I just kind of want to throw this one in there, even though it's not a CO2. It's, it's nice because you don't have to keep putting CO2s in. It's, of course, going to be a little bit on the low FPS side. I think it's only rated at like 190 to like 200. But if you're a little bit kind of close, maybe like 15 feet. You know, you could practice your grouping. And you could use this too if you have, like I said, a Glock 17 just for like a uh, practice. Like dry fire practice and just, you know, drawing practice. Really cool. The, st the grips on this is real nice. The stippling and everything. So you got a good old grip on it. Don't slide on your hand if your hand gets sweaty. It's a real nice grip. This one's from Crossman. PSM 45. I think I said the model name. If I didn't, that's what it is. <laughs> PSM 45. And it has a dot. There's a dot on this one, which is so nice. Like I said, I, it drives me crazy when you get these and they don't have dots. They don't put the dots, that's why you always use a little bit of white paint and dot it up. But yeah, I just want to show you guys my favorite $35 and under CO2 pistols and the little wild card here with the Springer. This one's really cool. It's got, it's got a lot of good reviews. And I've done reviews on all these pistols. I'll put it in the description. I'll you know link all the... The reviews of me shooting everything when i when i reviewed this one i i took it out the, the the first day i got it i didn't really have time to really focus in on seeing where my sight picture is on this and i wasn't too accurate using with with the uh the T, tcp or whatever this stock's called i'll link it in the description it'll have it'll have the name of everything so you'll be able to know where to find it but i just couldn't it seemed like it was shooting just way off from the way the the way the dots and everything are up here just I don't know that's why we ended up putting a, a pistol scope on it which was a lot better so keep in mind if you if you do get one of these stocks you might want to get like a red dot or you can go the pistol scope route either way I would I would go that way because just the, the, the back and the front open sights on this just kind of suck but it's still really cool if you get a red dot or a little pistol scope. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.